On the second day of our exploration, we went out to the Emerald Forest location so that we could experience being in the woods and near a pond like the one that the Belskis would have wandered across. We were charged by Tamara Vershitskaya to look for found objects in the woods that represented some part of the Belski story for us. Here are the objects we found and their explanations. The reasoning behind mine, it, um, I think it's, it represents the, um, in my eyes, um, the Jewish people through like what the Nazis think of them, kind of, or like historically. Um, one part, the part about the, how the Nazis think about them is it was just like a small little insignificant leaf on the ground, um, which is kind of like why I imagine Nazis thought of, you know, the Jewish people. Um, and also in my eyes, I was Jewish people at that time because it's kind of like, it's ripped, it's disconfigured, off colored, um, dismantled. It just is not what it used to be. And it's just like, you know, not great. Okay, so I chose this fern because it looks like it looks like it could like, you know, hide and like you can't like see my skin under it and can like represent like what they all used for like shelter. One, because this was on the floor, so it like blends in. Two, shelter is like very important, especially if you're living in the woods for like the cold and, you know, natural stuff. So th I thought this was, you know, good for something to represent shelter in the Jewish Good. Good. My explanation for this pine cone was because it wasn't just like laying on the ground in plain sight. I had to like look for a little bit to find it, which is like the Jewish people kind of like finding the camp, uh, like river slime in the forest kind of. So they had to like look for it for a little bit and I had to look for this one for like a little bit. Um, so there's that. And it also just is like green, like the trees of the forest and it has brown like I dirt. imagine, trust me, this was a lot prettier when it was like in the sunlight, but I imagine this like, you know, they didn't have a lot, like didn't have a lot to work with. And I imagine that, you know, they had a lot of time so they could make everything look really pretty. And so I imagine this like outside of their house or there is like Zemblanca's just like this out, like welcoming everyone who like was just coming in cause they like welcomed everyone. Okay, okay so I picked this rock for two reasons. The first is that it's pretty flat on this side and that's like humans being there cause um, that's not very like natural and stuff. Um, and it's the representation that like the Jews were doing what they could and they were still making an impact on the world and their lives even though the Nazis um, thought less of them. And then the second reason I chose this rock is because this could be used in like a fire to either like be around the fire to keep it in place or in the fire or you can like hit um, use it to start get some sparks um, which would have been really important because he is one of the big um, issues and, th um, and things if you don't have it in the forest. Okay. This is gonna be a little bit of a repeat. I took this bark off of a tree because I have the same idea as Zev as taking one piece off of the tree seems insignificant, but it's not. It can still make a mess. <laughs> I have like a dead flower, but it's like not completely dead. It's still pretty and it still smells like a flower and it's like still pretty even though it's like falling apart and i think that kind of represents the jewish people because even though they were smaller they were a smaller community that they had than they had been um and they were kind of falling apart they were still like it was they were still able to find like beauty and like sing songs in the forest and stuff so they were still able to find beauty and like the everyday life which was i mean not every day it was like a lot worse than every day but um it was still able what, to what became their everyday life yeah this little pine cone represents two things the jewish people and the forest the, the jewish people because um this is tiny falling apart and kind of messed up um that kind of is how the Jewish people were <laughs> back then, um, and kind of still right now, but less so. But um, and it represents the forest because there were quite a few of these, like quite 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 a lot of these in 
that forest. Um, and yeah. So. So this is a small leaf from a skunk cabbage plant. Um, and um, I really would have liked to have brought home a big leaf, but I didn't want to take the whole plant apart. Um, and I thought that it could represent kind of the shelter um, arching over um, the people who came to the Belsky Partisans, um, both the physical shelter of their homes and then just the shelter of the woods. And so I really wanted a bigger one to kind of show um, the space that was safe. And then this kind of uh, moss that was on the ground, kind of very fragile and um, falling apart, I would like to think of as being kind of uh, the, the evil that was out there to be protected from, kind of crumbling and falling apart as time went on um, and representing that negative piece that, that, the, that the big leaf is shielding them from. After sharing what each item meant to us, we as a group worked together to make a composite of these items to represent part of the story of the Belskis. The lichen in the upper left-hand corner represents the Nazis and the evil that was out in the world. The leaf represents the camp and the knowledge that the Belskis were there in the forest for those who escaped to go to and the protection and security that it represented. The pine cone and bark underneath that leaf represent the fighting part of the Otriad, those who joined the Soviet partisans. The rock represents fire and warmth and the security and foundation that the human-made parts of the camp gave. The long leaf is Tuvia. It represents the spine and backbone, the security and protection that he gave. Its fragile nature represents that he was also human and had his own challenges. The pine cone above it represents the Jews that came to them from camps and ghettos and hiding in the woods. The flower represents the hope and desire for them to return to their previous state, that they were still there, wilted, but able to return to beauty. The long fern leaf above them represents the shelter that the Zimlancas and other parts of the forest gave them so that they could hide. And the fern underneath that represents their desire to have beauty in their life and to represent the silver linings and positive things that were around them despite their dire situation the friendship and dancing and love that they found in safety there in the woods.